This video will teach you about your vending machine's refrigeration system. You will need a Phillips screwdriver if you want to unpack your refrigeration unit. Note that the refrigeration system and the frozen refrigeration system are closely identical and just have slightly different components. To take off the cover of your refrigeration unit, remove these 11 screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Note that you must remove these four screws on the side, these three screws on top, and these three screws on the other side of the system to completely remove the cover. Once you've removed all 11 screws, lift the cover off your system and set it aside. Now you can see the inside components of your refrigeration unit. On the front of your refrigeration unit, you will notice the evaporator coils. Directly behind the coils, you will find two evaporator fans which suck air in and then push cold air out into your machine. Next to the evaporator fans, you will find the thermal expansion valve. This controls the amount of refrigerant released to the evaporator. A different one is used for the frozen refrigeration system, however it looks almost identical to this one shown. On the back side of the system, you will find the compressor located in this small module. Within the compressor module, you will find the evaporator tray, which catches any condensation from the evaporator coils. Condensation falls down into the evaporation tray and then gets evaporated with the condenser air. On your system, you'll also notice the seals which hold the air in. The machine works by condenser air coming in through here. Then the compressor pushes the air through the system and out the back. The evaporator air flows through here and gets chilled. Then the evaporator fans push the air out into the cabinet. Note that we recommend having a professional refrigeration expert help you fix any problems you might be experiencing with your refrigeration system. To see more helpful tutorials, visit VenNetUSA.com. Follow these steps to close a pull-out panel and latch door lock handle on your vending machine. You'll need a cordless drill and an 11 32nd inch drill bit. Start by opening up your machine and switching the power off. Then open the swing door and pull the pull-out panel out as shown here. Locate the panel with two holes which align with the two pins on the pull-out panel. These pins cause interference which makes it difficult to close the door and latch the handle. To fix this problem, drill these holes using an 11 32nd inch drill bit. Then power your machine back on, close your machine's cabinet door, and slide the pullout panel back into your machine. Then latch the door lock on your machine. Then latch the door lock on your machine. To see more helpful tutorial videos, visit VenNetUSA.com.